Hey everyone, this is Sam, and welcome to RPG Labs. Today, we're going to take a look at Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So in this video, we'll be showing you guys a legendary shield in detail. We're going to let you see what it does, what makes it so good, and exactly what ideal weapons and skills you need to combine with it so you can get the most out of the uniqueness of the shield. And as you can see from this footage, with the correct spells and the correct weapons, even on intense difficulty, we can be very dominant with this legendary shield alongside the right moves and the right gameplay reads. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider liking it and also subscribing to the channel. If you would like to see more RPGs and uh, Tiny Tina Wonderland content from us, you can click on the playlist below or above and you'll find all the videos we've been working on all year long. So let's start off by looking at this legendary shield, the hammer and the anvil of the beefy. And the uniqueness with the shield is that when it's full and you take damage, it's going to spawn a hammer that's going to chase enemies down, do melee damage and knock them back. So one of the perfect skills you can add to go with this kind of legendary shield is the mage armor skill from this spell shot class. With this, you can always top yourself off while casting spells and reloading to give yourself a shield refill. So the ideal spells, one of the ideal spells to go with that is any ice spike spell that has multiple charges. And if you can, you definitely want the uh, trigger to be a simple cast, so it's quick to trigger. So ice spike spell goes great with the shield because it's going to give you long range damage. So as long as you have your crosshair targeted at the area you want and you cast a spell, it's going to go to that exact location at that target. The damage is high, it has a pretty good coverage of radius and because you have free charges you're going to be able to cast it a lot now the crosshair targeting though is essential with the ice spike spell because it's very missable you can see i have missed the first one so you're going to make sure your crosshair is on the target you want to cast it to and that hammer you see flying around that's from the hammer shield i'll go into detail how to further take advantage of that later but for now you also want to add into another spell if you can so make sure you get the action skill uh mp hextras from the spell shot class, this will allow you to equip a second spell. The second spell you want to equip is the one that has a repeating cast. This one is a repeating cast spell with multiple charges, which is what we want. And it also allows you to get health back and it has a singularity, kind of like a gravity pool effect. So when you see multiple targets, you want to use the snap spell because you can do it like five times because it's a repeating cast. So you want to also take advantage of the singularity effects that comes with the spell. So when you see multiple targets, Cast it five times, make sure you bring everybody into the same area with the singularity effect. And then you want to group them up and set them up for an ice spike right there. That's the best thing you can do with these two spells as they synergize. Now, the legendary hammer shield syncs perfectly with the spike and the snap singularity kind of setup. Because as you cast spells, you're going to top off your shield. But if you get hit, the hammer is going to spawn. And because you're casting spells from a distance, the hammer kind of makes up for that close range melee damage and it's going to keep the enemies away from you as you continue to cast. But as you cast, you get your shield back. So if any kind of hits or strays gets off and hits you, the hammer is going to come back out again. And you can see I, lowered my, I got my shield lower here as I was casting. The hammer comes up, it's going to go after the target, it's going to keep them at bay, which allows me to shoot them from a distance, and which allows me to continue to cast spells. So the hammer kind of acts as a buffer to keep everything away from me, or if anything gets close, they're going to get hit. But if I continue to cast spells, I'm just going to see the hammer comes out again because I got my shield back. So it's going to be plenty of hammers, plenty of casting. By the time all of that is over with, I can still use my gun which reloading with the gun also triggers more shield, more hammer. As you can see, the hammer is coming out again. It's kind of like this legendary effect is helpful, but I don't even have to worry about it because everything I do is going to ensure I get the shield back. And once I get the shield back, the hammer is going to make sure I'm, I can cast spells, stay safe. And obviously, this goes best with the spell shot class because the spell weaving allows you to get, you know, damage stacks on casting spells and reloading. So because... You can do that. That's why you want spells with multiple charges because it's going to equal to very efficient buffing. That's why you can see with both of my spells, I like to go with things that at least have two charges. Free is perfect. But uh, you definitely want a spell that gives you back health and you also want an ice spike spell. And any spell with gravitational pull is great. So you can see everything come together. I get hit, the hammer comes out, keeps them at a distance. I can use all my spells. And the uh, ice spike comes back very quickly, right? Because these spells got really good cooldowns. I get hit from the shield, the hammer comes out again. And as I play through it, you can see even if I lose my shield, I can cast the snap singularities to pretty much get health back. 
and when the hammer is spawned, it does stay around for quite a while, at least three good hits. So that kind of spawn time allows me to pretty much refill the hammer if I have spells and as I reload. So I get hit, hammer comes out, keeps everybody at bay. This is a very aggressive style of play. Maybe could I die sometimes? Sure. But because the ice spike itself hurts so much, I can easily get a death save. And the ice spikes come back so quickly and the hammer usually is still running around. Even if I go down, I usually just immediately come back. There's the hammer again and I go down and I, the hammer is still at work here, right? And I got a death save. Most likely from the hammer. And then I'm just back to the action. Getting my shield back as quickly as possible. Casting spells. Reloading my guns. And as the shield comes back up. I'll be able to spawn another hammer. There it goes. <laughs> so it's pretty free form of play. But you can see that hammer. Like it's going to work. And whatever it hits. It stuns. Which kind of frees me up. It's kind of like I have a hammer companion. So like if you have a spell shot. You have a stabomancer. Which is the setup I kind of got going. Being able to spawn a hammer like this, it's great. Because there's something to buffer and keep me in that distance so I can continue to cast spells. And uh, the Ice Spike though is probably my favorite. If you are only going with one spell, I would suggest definitely keep the Ice Spike with multiple charges because it's just so fast. Like each Ice Spike spell is, is 11 seconds and I have three of them. You can see I just keep getting the hammer. Sometimes I just want to purposely get ganged a little bit so the hammer spawns. So sometimes I would, if I know I have full shield, I might take a hit on purpose because I know I can easily get it back and I can always get the health back with the snap singularity too. And the spike range, beautiful. So very good managing everything. And uh, one last quick tip. A pre-fight, you want to use spells to build stacks and shield. So if you get up to, I can get up to eight stacks here. You can see I'm just casting the spell so to bring my shield back. So I can just bring it back quickly. I'm gonna cast spells, you know, do some reloads, make sure I go into every fight with full shield. And by the time the fight starts, I will have all my spells back anyways. So it flows great. Now in regards to legendary though, uh Tiny Tina Wonderlands is set on luck, so make sure uh roll the dice. If you see any dice in the world, hit them, get better luck. And but to get these two spells, which is the uh, singularity with multiple charges, that gets you back health. Or just simply the Ice Spike spell that has multiple charges and has great distance. You can just visit the stores often and you will most likely be able to find something similar. And if not, you probably will find the exact thing. And the two of them, as you can see, great synergy. And alongside with a buffer hammer, even though I'm fighting level 20 here. And I found that legendary shield pretty early at, at level 11. It was still going, it, it's still going great because of that hammer effect is so good. Alright, so hopefully this helped you out. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment section. As always, thanks for coming by. Hopefully you guys are loving the game. We're enjoying it pretty much very well over here. So expect more content from us, especially with more legendary weapons and the best weapons you can use to go with it. Alright, we'll talk to you guys very soon. See you next time.